What is up, Kettlebell Crew? Welcome to another edition of Kettlebell Flow. What's up? I'm Coach Grant. I'm excited to woo! announce the, the woo guy behind me. He's a woo guy. But before I do that, take a look at the screen. As with all exercise programs, including Kettlebell Flows, there is inherent risk, so make sure you're using common sense, trying to avoid injury, and know that we are not liable for anything that happens as a part of these workouts. Thanks for your understanding, crew. Come on back in. Take a look at this woo guy. Woo guy. Woo. Woo guy. Coach Seamus is here to do the work with you today. Are you excited? Let's go, baby. I today's, need it. Today's going to be great. Today's going right. to be great. I like it, crew. Before we get into the two flows that we are going to do today, let's do a really quick warm up. I actually called that a cool down the other day. Warm up. Let's pop down to a rock back. Let's pop down to a rock back. Yeah, let's go down to a rock back. So let's go knees down, hands down. We're rocking back in the hips. Let's go knees just outside of hip width. Nice and easy. We've got two flows today. We got a little core finisher we're gonna work at the end. Oh man, can't wait. Can't wait to get through this. How are you feeling? I'm ready. Yeah? Yeah, I feel good. Okay. Feel really nice. All right, let's go right leg out to the outside. Let's rock back with that right leg out to the outside. Feeling good, not feeling too sore or anything. I need a little bit of a stretch right now. Yeah, you just, so should we just maybe, we'll just stretch and recover for. No, no, I mean, I want to work. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. <laughs> Switch sides. Left leg to the outside, a, a bag of bones. <laughs> I feel like a... <laughs> I'm trying to think through that expression. I feel like a bag of bones. What does that feel like? You just... I'm, I'm just... <laughs> my bones are just in my body. Yeah, just like just <laughs> All right. Let's go push-up position now, y'all. Push-up position. Everybody there. Widen your feet out. Give me a couple shoulder taps. Right hand to the right shoulder, left hand to the left shoulder, or right shoulder. Let's go left hand, right shoulder, left hand, right shoulder there. Nice and easy. Good. Hold, breathe, feel stable. Very, very nice. Okay, now push into a downward dog. Let's go hips up, reach those hands into the ground, load up, feel the load in the shoulders, bend one knee, extend the other so you get a little extra calf stretch, extra hamstring stretch. Very, very good. Okay. Come back to push-up position. Step the right leg into a groiner on the right. Here's what I want you to do. Hold that there. Hold, set the back knee down, so left knee down. And then go ahead and come out of the groiner, both hands up, and reach up to the ceiling as high as you can go. Reach. Ooh. And then go back down, hands down on the ground. And then reach the right hand up to the ceiling. Now rotate, reach. You can bring the knee off the ground. There we go. Good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Now set the hand down. Leg goes back. Left leg steps up. Hold there, set the back knee down softly, and then reach both hands up to the ceiling. Big reach up. Ooh, like this? Yeah, like that. Incredible. Good, that is what I was looking for. Go both hands onto the ground, and then let's go. Left hand reaches up to the ceiling now. Regular groiner. Reach up and turn. Good. Let's do that one more time on each side. One more time. So go back, left leg back, right leg steps up. Hold that groiner position. Go ahead and put the back knee down. Bring both hands up, reach to the ceiling. Big hip flexor stretch, good. Oh. <laughs> hands go down, back leg off the ground, right hand reaches up. Good, nice and easy, very nice. Ready to go. Yeah, I know, you're gonna be limber. Let's go other side now, one last time on the left. Left leg up, set the back knee down, reach both hands, last one, big exhale. Good. <laughs> hands go down, left hand up to the ceiling. Good, all right, let's stand up, stand up. Here's what I want you to do, grab your bell, grab the bell that you can do swings with. Let's just bring that bell out. Uh, there you go, just bring it out, put it into your space. Let's do a couple hip hinge and reach really fast. Let's reach the hips back, go ahead and stand up. Good, oh, you're doing some deadlifts. Oh, hip hinge, <laughs> or deadlifts, hip hinge with reach or deadlifts, either one. <laughs> This is a tough gig when, you're, when your sidekick doesn't listen. <laughs> Good. Okay, one more hinge, one more deadlift, and then set the bell down. Go ahead and step back from the bell. Let's do 10 good swings. Ready? 10 good swings. Let's hit it. 10 good ones. Hike it. Snap it up. Good. Make sure you're focused on creating some tension. Root those feet into the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Really get some power into those hips. Woo! All right, when you're done with 10, set it down, shake the arms out. Very, very nice. Good. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna do one more set of 10. 
one more set of 10, and then I'm gonna explain this workout for y'all today. You ready? All right, let's hinge down, grab the bell, tip it. Let's hit 10 swings, let's go. Here we go, hike it and snap, good. Really squeeze your glutes, get the hips locked out. Squeeze the quads, root those feet down into the ground. Good, all the way up. Get that bell to really float at the top, y'all. Come on, good, very nice. Very, very good. Get that nice, easy flow. Is that 10? You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? High five. High five. Here we go. Bam. High five at home. Bam. All right, y'all. Take a look at the screen. Let's talk about what's happening today. We got two flows uh, at the beginning here. Uh, the kettlebell flow number one is there's going to be two ways that you can do this. The first way is where you're going to string all these exercises together. You're going to do a kettlebell complex that's going to end with you doing four snatches. And then on the fourth snatch, you're going to get down and get up. So you can see it's one hand swing, clean, rack squat, snatch, and then a get down, get up on the right, okay? If you are not comfortable with the snatch, the way that we're gonna do that is you're gonna do one hand swing, cleans, rack squat, back to one hand swings instead of the snatches, and then you're just gonna set the bell down and you're gonna do a get up, get down on the right hand side, all right? So we're gonna do both sides there. We're gonna get three total rounds. Uh, done of that kettlebell flow one, and then we'll go over to kettlebell flow number two. Kettlebell flow two is gonna be reverse plus forward lunge, three of those on each side. Then we've got a press, five on each side, and then we've got a long stride row. And we're just gonna hit five good rounds of that little strength tricep there. And then at the end, we're actually gonna go to a core finish. We're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have a little side plank connect. And I'm actually gonna lead that. We're not gonna go on timing. I'm gonna lead you through that, Coach Seamus, all right? So come on back into the gym. Let's talk about flow number one here real quick. So flow number one. All right, there we go, sorry. All right, flow number one. So the way that Coach Seamus is gonna do this, he is gonna string these exercises together. So he's gonna do 10 swings on the right, eight cleans on the right, rack squat for six on the right. Then he's gonna do four snatches. And after his fourth snatch, he's gonna get down and get up twice. So he's gonna do a double, okay? You don't, without setting it down, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with the snatch, remember, you're going to do 10 swings, you can do eight cleans, six squats, and then four swings, and then you're going to set the bell down, and you're going to do a just regular double get up on the right without putting the bell down, okay? And then you're going to set it down, and we're going to switch over to the other side, and we're going to make sure everyone can start together each time we start it, okay? Are you ready? We don't need a timer. We're just going to work. Here we go. Right side, y'all, starting with your swings, 10 of them going in three, two, one, let's hit 10 swings. Here we go, good. We're gonna get through this three rounds per side. So right now, I really want you to focus on floating that bell, get the power right where you need it, dial it in somewhere where you can be really focused and actually have a lot of time and attention here. After you're done with 10 swings, remember, we're going right into our cleans, right into our cleans. So we're popping that bell up, we're trying to keep the bell close to the body. We're trying to make sure that we catch quick so that the bell lands on that wrist softly every single time. Once you're done with eight cleans, what number are you on? Seven. Woo, he's on seven. This is number eight. He's gonna hold. He's gonna rack squat for six now. He's gonna pull himself into the squat. Good, you can see he's got that left hand out to the outside. He's trying to feel like his abs are doing most of the work of holding that bell. If he wanted to, he could put that hand on the front side of the bell to hold it to give him a little bit of extra stability there, okay? After those six squats, he's gonna do four snatches. Drop right down into a swing, pop the bell up for, for four snatches. Remember, you can do four swings here as well, all right? After he's done with four snatches, he's gonna hold the bell overhead and he's gonna get down and get back up. Here we go. The side he could touch, he steps down, He's all the way going to the ground, hand down, setting the hips to the ground, elbow, body. Here he goes. He's going to go all the way back up now. That's going to be one. We're going to do two. Remember, if you did the swings, you're just doing a double get up right now. So just finish this double get up on your own pace. Good. Seamus is on his second get down, get up. Arms are locked out. Eyes are up on that bell. Drive up. Good. Get the knee right underneath the body. Get yourself square and stand up. Go ahead and bring the bell to the rack and set it down. Good. Finish your double get ups at home. If you did the get up, get down, just finish up wherever you're at. Set the bell on the ground. Shake it out. We'll maybe walk around just a little bit. How, how are you feel? Oh, <laughs> Seamus was feeling like he needed to drink water. So at home, <laughs> grab a drink. 
walk around a little bit. That was a lot, a lot, a lot of time and attention, okay? The cool thing about bells is that you can like chain these exercises together, but what happens is when you put all these exercises together, you're doing all these reps, your heart rate goes through the roof. But the cool thing is like when you change exercises up, it doesn't feel as intense, right? You change from a swing to a clean to a squat. It's because you're using different musculature, you can keep going, okay? You ready? I gotta get some chalk, that was hard. You gotta get some chalk, yeah. Chalk up, chalk up. When you're going swings, cleans, you gotta make sure, gotta make sure you have enough chalk. Uh, okay, remember crew, if you don't feel good with the snatch, just stick to that one hand swing and then do your get up from the ground. Coach Seamus is gonna go to his left side. You ready to go? All right, at home, left hand on the bell, 10 good swings starting right now. Let's go. Here we go. Hike back, snap it up. Good. You can hear Seamus breathing back there. I'm sure maybe you guys can hear that through the mic. Quick inhale when your hips are going back, quick exhale. But the biggest thing is that he keeps that cycle of breathing going, all right? Keeps that cycle of breathing going. He doesn't let himself get off rhythm. It's always with his hips. Good. Going to his eight cleans now. Very nice. Remember, you wanna really brace your core and brace your abs for impact when you catch that kettlebell at the top. So you go from this big, deep hinge position to locking out, bracing your abs, and catching the bell at the same time, all right? Once he's done with his eight, he's gonna go six squats. Boom, here we go, six squats now. Sink into that squat, drive those knees out. Your toes can be pointed out just a little bit. Make sure you shoot that hand out to the outside to give yourself a little bit of leverage there. Good. Remember, after those six, you're going into your four snatches or four swings again. Here we go. Four good reps. For those of you doing snatches, take your time. Once you hit four, hold, bicep in line with the ear, tap that leg, and we're going to do get down, get up. Here we go. Seamus is going into his two get ups. For those of you that did swings, set that bell down. Let's do a double get up real quick. Here we go, crew. Come on. Finish it up. Good. Finishing the first get up here in the gym. Strong, driving up to the top, very nice. Let's get back down. We gotta do one more, one more. Good, all the way down, beautiful. Abs are tight, drive off that leg, rolling up to the hand, good. Once you get to the top, own that top position, bring the bell slowly into the rack, and then set it down. My crew doing double get-ups from the ground. Make sure you finish your double get-up here on this side. I'm gonna give you all about 40 seconds to finish up. Whoo! How you feel, yeah. Starting to breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. The uh, kettlebell complexes, man, I think this is one of the reasons I love kettlebell training so much is because of the, the ease of ballistics and the ease of which you can chain all these exercises together to get such a crazy workout done in such a short amount of time. Um, by chaining these four exercises, five exercises together, it's, uh, it's just something you can't do with dumbbells or barbells or anything else, all right? Are you uh, feeling recovered? Oh yeah, it needs a sec. <laughs> At home, get a drink. Remember, this is a little bit of strength endurance work, so we don't need to keep pushing the pace too hard. I do want to keep you guys on time so that we're not on here forever. So grab a drink, chalk your hands up. We've got about 15 more seconds. That was one time on each side. So we got to go two more full rounds and then we'll switch to our more strength flow number two, okay? All right, here we go. Here we go, let's set up on that bell. Let's go back to our right side. We gotta start with 10 swings in three, two, one, let's go. Good, yeah, very nice. Remember the biggest thing, uh, number one, keep locking out strong. So lock those legs in, really squeeze your quads, lock the knees out, squeeze your glutes, and then watch that hand that's holding the bell. Pull that shoulder down and back. Feel that lat muscle turn on, that muscle underneath your armpit. Good, Coach Seamus is moving on to his cleans now. He's got eight cleans to go on the right side here. Very nice. Kick, quick catch on that clean, keeping the bell high above the knees. After he's done with that eight cleans, woo! He's going into his six squats. Here we go, sink into the squat. Right now, this is where the heart rate's gonna start to go through the roof, right? This is where that heart rate starts to beat a little bit harder. Sink into that squat, you gotta start to embrace feeling really uncomfortable here, all right? Here we go, sink in, stay with it. Once you're done with six, that's when you go into your four swings or your four snatches, y'all. Here we go. Good, be powerful, be powerful here. Sink into that snatch and that swing. Good. Number three, once he finishes four, he's gonna hold it. Make sure that bell's directly over his body, touch that leg and step down. Here we go, two get down, get ups. If you're starting from the ground, let's roll and press that bell out. Let's hit two get ups here, y'all. 
Come on. Good. Pull the knee underneath the body. Get strong. Drive up. Good. Softly back to the knee. Hand to the ground. Set that knee on the ground. Very, very good. Here we go. Last time we're doing a get up. Finish that second get up, y'all. If you're working the get up from the ground, good. Once you finish, bring the bell into the rack. Set it down. Once you finish your last get down, set that bell on the ground. Whoo! We are officially halfway, halfway done through this first flow. So I want everyone to walk around. Let's take 30 seconds. Shake your arms out. Shake them out one at a time. I want you to imagine you're like shaking water off your arm. So shake that arm out and then shake your left arm. Shake water off that left arm. And let's do the same thing. Right leg, shake it out. Left leg, shake it out. Good. Whew. All right. The whole goal of that is that during, especially when you have time and attention like that, you're creating a lot of tension in your body, right? Tension in your arms, tension in your abs, tension in your legs. So you're just trying to shake out the tension that you just created for like two whole minutes doing that complex, okay? Whew. Take a breath. Here we go. We got to go to the left side and then we'll have one round left. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hike the bell back. Let's go. Let's be strong on these swings. Good. What I want you to try to find is even though your heart rate's going to start to elevate, you're going to start to feel your breathing get labored. I want you to find a rhythm. I want you to find that pace that you feel like you can stay at, that intensity level that you can maintain throughout all of these exercises. All right. Coach Seamus is going on to his cleans right now. Make sure when you drop that bell into a clean, you got to sit back all the way. Don't shorten your hinge because you're catching it in the rack. Sink back, load the hamstrings, and then catch the bell. Okay? Once you're done with eight, that's when you sink into your squat for six. Here we go. Seamus is going to that squat. Very nice. Got the hand to the outside, feeling a lot of tension in his abs. The biggest thing about front rack squats is that it causes, it demands a lot from your core. So really brace the front side of your core. Good. Very nice. After six of those, we got four snatches or four swings. No matter what, be powerful right now. Be powerful. Come on. Find it in your hips. You're almost there. Come on, Seamus. You're almost there, buddy. Good. That's number four. All right, y'all. Here we go. Get down and get up. Get down and get up. Nice and soft. Get to the ground. Once you get all the way to your back, take a breath and then drive back up. Those of you that started from the ground, keep working. Let's finish that double get up right now on the left side. Come on, y'all. Good. One done for Coach Seamus. One done at home. Let's finish this second one. Eyes on that bell unless you are standing up. Keep your eyes on that kettlebell and your arm locked out. Good. Seamus is finishing. He's standing, bringing the rack, the bell down in the rack position, setting the bell down. Ooh, good job. Finish, y'all. Finish the get up. Finish that double. If you started from the ground, get back down to the ground. Set the bell on the ground. Take a breath. I know y'all are laying there probably right now thinking, oh my gosh, got to do this one more time. Don't even think about that. You're just going to think about the one thing you got to do next, which is go back to your right side, okay? How you doing? This is hard. This is hard. This is hard. The, you're, you're looking good in the tank top, though, so if it's worth anything to you, you're looking great, all right? <laughs> it is truly crazy what even a moderate-sized kettlebell can do when you chain a bunch of exercises together. It is. That is why you have to build the skill you have to build the skill. You got to build the skill of every single one of these, the one hand swing, the clean, the snatch, the, the jerk, all this, these exercises that you can learn. Once you learn them, you can start pairing them together and chaining them together. Uh, that's why it's so, so, so important to continue to level up your skill with kettlebell training because it unlocks so many doors. Okay. All right. About 20 seconds. Okay. We have one more round left of kettlebell flow number one. Then we're going to go to kettlebell flow number two. So everybody just breathe, big inhale, big exhale. Okay, hinge down, get set up on that bell. Let's go back to our right side. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's go 10 swings. Here we go. Come on, this is the last time you're doing this chain on the right. Last time, y'all, let's go. Come on, let's go to work. Good, you're focused on power. You're focused on finding that intensity level that allows you to keep yourself in this game. Come on. Keeps yourself in this workout. Good. Seamus is finishing 10. 
going on to his cleans. There we go. Remember, when you have to redirect the bell in the clean, you got to redirect and keep the bell really close to your body. So the bell drives up to the top. It really floats at the top. And then when you go to the clean, you got to make sure you're not letting that bell go too far away from you. It's got to stay close, like you're zipping up a jacket, okay? Zip up and catch quick. Here we go. After eight, six squats. Boom. Keep breathing in your squats. It's easy to want to hold your breath as you sink into those squats. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you come up. Come on, y'all. After you finish six, you got your four swings or snatches, and then we go get ups, okay? Here we go. Four snatches out of Coach James. There it is. Good. Being powerful. Really, really powerful with the hips. Make sure it's your hips, not your arm that drives the bell up. Good. Hold there. Let's get down. Let's get up. Let's hit a double. If you have to get the bell on the ground, let's hit that double get up from the ground, y'all. From the ground. Let's finish two. Good. Feels like <laughs> Seamus said the bell's starting to feel heavy. That is how it's gonna feel. That is how it's gonna feel when you have the time under tension. Come on, fight through it right now. Keep fighting through. Stay in it. Good. Bring the leg around, get tight, stand. Once you're done with that double, bring the bell down, set it down. Those of you that are finishing on the ground, set that bell down. Whoo! Finish up, y'all. I'm gonna give you about 45, 60 seconds to finish. Ho! Oh, take a breath. We might not even need to do five rounds of our kettlebell flow number two. I'm thinking. <laughs> Maybe we'll do three rounds. I think three rounds might be good. I don't know. If you want to do five, you can always pause the video and hit five and then go to the core with us. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish our left hand side here and then we're going to do three rounds of our strength flow number two because that'll just cap things off, and then we'll do our core finish, and then we'll be done, okay? All right. Okay, here's the deal. Right now, going to your left, you're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper, okay? You're gonna have to dig. You're gonna have to really push into a very uncomfortable state, all right? But it's right here. It's right here. Dig. You ready, Seamus? I'm gonna dig. He's gonna dig. I'm gonna dig. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? I believe in you. Let's go, man. I believe in you, and I believe in you at home. Let's go. Let's get this left side done. Hinge down to that bell. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go, y'all. Here we go. Ten good swings. Let's get these last few reps done. Let's push it, y'all. Come on. Only got about five minutes left after we're done with this. Let's go. Come on. Swing hard. Focus on locking those hips out. Get that power into that bell. Transmit that power from your hips into the kettlebell. Let's go. Good, eight cleans now. Drive that bell up, catch it quick. If that bell's going too high, it's gonna land on your wrist. It's not gonna feel right. You gotta catch it quick. Almost act like you're catching it at your stomach. If you catch it low like that, I promise you it's not gonna bang your wrist. Here we go. After you're done with eight cleans, we're going into our six squats. Boom, six squats now. Here we go, elbow inside of the knees, driving the knees out to the outside, feeling strong as we drive out of the top of that squat. Come on, y'all, good. Stay in it. I know you're tired. I know you're fighting demons right now. Let's finish this chain. Good. Four snatches or four swings at home for y'all. Let's go. Stay with it. Stay with it. Get four powerful reps here. Good. One more for Seamus here. Boom. Double get up time. Either get down, get up, or set the bell down. Hit your last double get up on the left. Come on, crew. This is it. This is the final, final get up. Come on. There it is, stand up, that's number one. He's got one more at home. Finish your second get up, nice, slow, and controlled. Get those shoulders to stack on top of one another. Good, hand underneath the shoulder, sweep, up, off, drive up, good. Bring the bell into the rack, set it down. Those of you that are finishing that double get up, set it on the ground. Very, very good work. That was not easy. That complex was incredibly challenging, incredibly challenging. Uh, whew. Take a minute, y'all. Walk around, shake it out. We've got to go to our kettlebell flow number two. I'm going to show you guys this flow. Uh, Coach Peter was feeling ambitious and said five rounds. We're going to do three. And what I'm going to tell you guys is make sure that you grab a bell here that you feel really comfortable with for these three exercises. Okay, so we're going to work reverse and forward lunge. So I'm gonna have y'all hold the bell by the side when you're doing that. It's only gonna be three. So you're gonna lunge forward and backward three times on the right and three times on the left. Then we got press for five and five, which can be a strict press or a push press using your legs. 
And then we got long stride row for five and five. It's just those three exercises, three big strength moves, and then we'll do three rounds, and then we'll move on, finish core finisher, and then we'll be done, okay? If you can't press, we're going push press. If we can't push press, you can always go push up, right? This is a different type of push, right? We, if we can't push overhead, just go push up there for 10 or five to 10, or literally take that time to go shoulder taps. That's fine as well, okay? Are you ready? All right. <laughs> 15 more seconds. I'll give you 15 more seconds. All right, y'all, we're gonna go, we're gonna start with reverse and forward lunge. We'll start going backwards. So everyone's gonna have the bell on the right side. If you're gonna hold the weight, you're gonna step back with the right leg, step down just like this, and then forward just like that, okay? You, oh, you're going. You ready? Yeah, here we go. All right, let's go three on the right, three on the left. Here we go, step back into a lunge, forward. You see the bell to the side there. You're really challenging your core stability to step down and step forward. Good. Just. Three of them, three of them total. Once you're done, this is the third, right? Good, once you're done with three, just flip that bell over to the left-hand side and start with a reverse lunge on the left. Step back with that left leg. Good, you gotta brace your abs here. You gotta find a lot of tension in your midsection so that you hold yourself from falling to the side or from losing your half kneeling position as you set the knee down. Good, is this number three? Good, last one here. Three, and then the bell can go down, set it down, shake it out. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds in between your exercises here. So shake your arms out, especially because you gotta go to press, okay? Your options here, strict press, push press using your legs, or go down in push-up position, tango push-ups, or just hold and give me shoulder taps until Sean is done with his five and five. See, so push yourself, see how long you can hold alternating one arm shoulder taps, okay? All right, yeah, we're gonna get a little bit lighter bell. I like that. All right, here we go, y'all. Five and five presses. Inhale, exhale, hinge down, get on that bell. Let's hike it back. Let's go to work. Here we go. Good, clean, strong on that strict press. Drive that bell up overhead. Make sure you pull it all the way into the rack position every single time, and then drive the bell back overhead. Good, really, really strong. Very, very nice. Create tension. Create tension. Seamus just set the bell down. He's gonna shake off really quick and then grab it with his left. Let's go to our left side, y'all. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. Hike that bell up. Remember, the more tension you can create in your body, so squeezing your abs, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your quads, rooting your feet into the ground, the easier it's gonna be for you to actually press the bell up overhead. Create tension, it'll make your press easier. Good, is that five? And Good, down, and once you're done with five, set it down, shake it out. We're gonna take time in between these exercises because these are three big strength moves, okay? Three big strength moves. The, set, the third one here is the long stride row. So if you take a look at me here, you're gonna step back with your leg, you're gonna have your heel up, you're gonna grab the bell, and you're gonna pull back towards the hip, trying to keep this leg locked out the whole time, okay? Five right, five left. Here we go, Seamus is gonna start on his right side. Everyone at home, get in position because we're starting right now. Let's go, five right, five left, good. Making sure you're pulling the elbow back towards that hip. That bell should come right back towards that back pocket. Come on, y'all, five good ones. And then set the bell down, switch the legs. Good, in there, in, three, two, one. Let's go left side, here we go. Pull that elbow towards the hip, good. Make sure your hips stay square to the ground. Shoulders stay square to the ground, pulling with the upper back. Good, last one. Set it down and relax. Very nice, look at that. Crew, we just got through one good round there. We only gotta do two more, all right? Two more, I know we're starting to hit this wall of fatigue, but I need you guys to smash through this wall. We are very close to being done, very close. We got a few minutes left. I need you guys to stay in it, all right? Stay in it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll make, the, I'll make the core worth it, I promise. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. We're going back to our lunges. Grab the bell on your right side, stand up, y'all. Let's go, three reverse lunges on the right, three forward lunges on the right. Let's step back and step forward. Good, tap the knee really, really soft to the ground. I want you to imagine like you're stepping back onto thin ice. Nice and easy, good, there it is. Very, very good. Tap softly, very nice, good. Once you're done with, that was three? Beautiful, switch sides, bring the bell over to the other side. Let's step back on the left, tap the knee soft, good. 
Very nice. Step together. You see Seamus every time he's stepping his feet back together. He steps back, he gains control, and then he steps forward so that every single movement is very controlled. Good. Very nice. Once you're done with three, this should be your last one, y'all. And go ahead and set the bell down, shake it out, and then we'll be that much closer to being done. Good. Whoo, walk around, walk around, shake it out, shake the arms out, breathe, take a breath. We've got our presses next, okay? So you're either working that regular press, or push press, or you can do the shoulder taps there as well as we finish up five and five, all right? Here we go, Seamus is gonna get on that bell. You gonna swing switch this time? Sure. All right, we're gonna swing switch. We're gonna not set the bell down until we're done with five and five. Here we go, right hand on the bell. Get ready to hike it back right now. Let's go, hike it back, pop it up. Let's do five good presses, good. One of the things Coach Seamus is focusing on right now in this press is he's trying to squeeze his quads as tight as he can. He's trying to really lock out his knees and squeeze the front of his legs to create as much tension as possible to get this bell overhead. Good, once he's done with five, He's gonna swing switch, other hand, and then bring it up, clean it on the left, and then drive up overhead. Here we go, five on the left. Breathe, y'all. Inhale as you pull the elbow down. Exhale as you press the bell up overhead. Good, create tension, squeeze those legs. Create tension in the lower body. Come on, y'all, last one. Ooh, very, very nice. And then bell goes down. Oh, all right. Here we go, let's finish this second round strong, long stride row, okay? Place that left foot right next to your bell, get ready to step that right foot back, take a breath, tell yourself, listen, I got this, I'm almost there, okay? Let's go long stride row on the right hand side, starting in three, two, one, five good rows. Let's go, pull that elbow back, good. Pull that elbow strong back to the hip, good. Keep that back leg locked out if you can, keep the eyes and the chest down to the ground. Once you finish five, set the bell down, shake it out, switch the legs. Go right foot planted, step that left foot back. Let's start right now. Let's go, good. Get those rows going, y'all. Come on, you're pulling with that upper back. You feel that upper back actually pulling the shoulder blade, the elbow back. Come on, y'all. Last ones, five good ones, bell down, shake it out. Whew, I am pushing Seamus to the limit. You are getting pushed to the limit right now. You are doing incredible, incredible, all right? Right now, you need to take a breath. You need to stick with it because we've got one final round. One final round, all right? Ready? 10 seconds. 10 seconds, all right? Take a breath, y'all. Get your bell out. We've got three lunges, reverse forward, starting on the right side. In four, three, two, one. Grab that bell, let's go reverse lunge on the right. Here we go, come on. Good, step down, drive up. Remember, the one thing that controls your movement here more than anything is gotta be how much tension you're creating in your core and how much stability you're creating in your core as you step forward and backward with that hip, okay? So as you finish this side, this three on the right and you switch over to the left, I want all of your attention to go to the core, to go to the midsection, to actually actively creating tension when you step down and back and when you drive back up to the top, okay? Be active, breathe, inhale, exhale, breathe behind that tension you're making in your midsection, in your abs. Good, nice, soft, controlled, is that number two? Good, all right, y'all, one more here, one more, finish up this re reverse lunge, forward lunge on the left-hand side, good and then bell down, okay. Woo, all right, we are so, so close. Shake it out, shake the legs out, shake that tension out, okay? Take a breath, last time on these presses, last time on the presses, last time on the rows, okay? Here we go, 10 seconds. Get that last drink in, chalk up if you need to. Here we go, we gotta go five good presses or push presses or get down in that push-up position. Ready? Three, two, one, hike that bell back, pop it up, let's go. Good, drive the bell up, yeah, very nice. Good, very, very nice, let's go. Come on, y'all, stay in it, stay focused. Stay focused on the task at hand, and right now it's just being strong on those presses overhead. Good, last side, swing switching to the left. Bell's up, drive the bell overhead, good. Come on, y'all, you got five good reps. 
five good reps in you. Pull the elbow down against the lat. Pull it into the body and then drive it up overhead. Don't shorten that. Pull the elbow down, feel that muscle, and then drive it right off of that lat. Number five, once you're done, set that bell down. Shake your arms out, shake your shoulders out. Go ahead and relax. Let me roll the neck around a little bit. Whoo, whoo is right. He's, he was a woo guy in the beginning, and now it's, that woo has gone from a high pitch to a whoo. It's <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Let's finish this last one. Long stride row. Get set up on your right hand side, grabbing that bell. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go five. Here we go. Pull back and drive. Good, very nice. Pull the elbow towards the hip. Come on, y'all. Stay in it. Stay in it. Pull like you mean it. Very nice. Switch sides. After you're done with five on the right, left leg back. Left hand grabs the bell. Let's go to work. Here we go. Five on the left. Pull. Good. Pull hard. Pull strong. Stay in that row. Last one. Five. Boom. Boom. Very, very nice. Uh, well, crew, here's the deal. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this last part optional. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Coach Seamus show the exercise so that you all can decide if you want to do the finisher or not. You want to do it? All right. Well, here's what. All right. All right. Coach Seamus says, you know what? I'm in. I'm in. So you know what? Let's just show a side plank connect and we're going to do five of them. Okay. So side plank connect looks like this. Yeah, top connect. So top connect, elbow to the knee, and then reach as long as you can, and then touch the top to the knee again. So here's the deal, crew. We are going to do five connections on the left side, and then we're going to switch sides, do five on the other side, and we're going to go for four quick rounds, and then we're going to be done. All right? Coach Seamus says we got to do the course, so I'm not going to, it's not optional. You ready? All right. Everybody up. Side plank position. Let's do five connections. Here we go. One. Good. Two, get the elbow to touch that knee. Three, four, watch those hips, keep them up. Five, switch sides, y'all, switch sides. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody up, elbow to the knee. Come on, really, really crunching that top ab, the top side ab together. Is that number three? Number four, squeeze. Number five, here we go, boom. Okay, here we go, we're switching back to the first side in five, four, I'm gonna make it quick. Three, two, one, everybody's up, here we go. One connection, good, two connections. Come on, three more, three, very nice. Four, keep those hips up, and five, very, very good, relax, relax. Whew, here we go, five. Four, three, two, one. Up on the other side. Here we go. Good. Touching the elbow to the knee. One. Good. When you touch, don't let the hips start to drop lower to the ground. Come on. That's two. That's three. Two more. Four. This is last one. Number five. Beautiful. Halfway. Halfway. Come on, y'all. We got four left. I got 10 seconds in my head right now. Breathe. Get yourself ready because I'm going to bring you up here in about five, four, Three, two, one, everybody up. Here we go, good. Elbow to the knee, come on, find those side abs. You gotta, you gotta push past, you gotta dig deeper right now. You gotta find a little bit of grit here. Come on, let's go crew. Is that five? Four, Four one more, five, relax. Set the hips down. The biggest thing here is when you touch the elbow to the knee, do not let your hips start to go closer to the ground. You have to drive the hips up and still be able to connect the elbow and the knee, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. Here we go. Hips are up, we're touching. One, two, good. Find his pace. Three, good. Here's number four. Touch and squeeze. Good. Number five, squeeze and relax. This is it. Final one. Final one. Back to your right side, starting in five, four, three, two, one. One, let's go, here we go, good, one, very nice, come on crew, two, keep the hips up, feel those side abs, three, good, keep driving that elbow into the ground, four, come on, last one, number five, rest, woo, this is it, final, five side plank connections, Coach Seamus, here we go buddy, starting in three, 
two, one. Let's go, crew. Hips up, touch that elbow to the knee. That's number two. Here we go, number three. Last two at home, four. Drive those hips up, number five. And down. Relax, relax. Incredible job. <laughs> Those of you at home, you should just be on your back right now. Your knees should be bent, heels should be on the ground. I'm gonna headbutt this card out of here because it's just, wow, we gotta get it out. Uh, crew, I understand that that was a, a good chunk of time, but that was a challenging workout. You should feel incredibly proud of finishing that flow. Seamus, how do you feel, buddy? That was hard. I wanted to give up so bad that core. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. I need a therapy. That's the only reason I couldn't. <laughs> He's saying the only reason he got through is because he knew you were with him. He knew you were working along with him. Good job, y'all. Uh, crew, for the cool down, I would take your time to lay on your back, pull your knees into your chest, take as much time as you want, do a little 90-90 hip stretch, maybe do a little rock back action. But uh, let's just do a, uh, what do you want to do for sweaty selfie, buddy? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll just stay in that, in that on the back position. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Crew, don't forget, make sure that you check in for Vitamin Angels on Facebook. Uh, remember, every two check-ins will donate, um, donate vitamins to women and children who need them, who don't have access to them. So make sure that you check in. Every check-in is a good thing. So make sure you do that and drop an emoji below. Either you're watching this on the Swing Portal or on Facebook, either one. Let us know how you're feeling right now. And uh, crew, let's do a quick, we're gonna do a sway selfie. Seamus is gonna be on the ground. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm gonna point at you guys because you guys did all the work. Ready, three, two, one. <laughs> Great work, everybody. Incredible, that was uh, a very challenging flow. I have a feeling that we may be coming back to that one multiple times. It will go down as a legendary flow. Um, crew. Good work. I'm proud of you. And remember that no matter what life throws at you, you just keep swinging. See you guys next time.